Nothing expresses your personality more than the artwork on your walls. So if you're into the quirky and vibrant color art scene, then you should check out the DeVille Bailey Gallery in Hyde Park this weekend. This gallery is very fortunate in that it has a very crossover audience. And on the one hand, uh, the people who, who love it um, know about art uh, and, and, and follow the art scene internationally because it is an international gallery. But on the other hand, uh, there are people who are learning about contemporary art as they go along. And they're kind of like coming upon it as they go through their cultural lives. We also have people who are aspirant artists watching what we do. So uh, people coming up from, um, from the underground who may be graffiti artists, who may be comic book artists, who may follow the graffiti and comic book thing, um, are also enthralled at the kind of art that's being brought into the country by this gallery. Hyde Park is a totally different place to Victoria Yards where we are also situated. But the people who come to Hyde Park are very exposed to the art world in general. They're traveled, um, they um, are incredibly discerning about what they spend their money on. They read enormously on the internet and in magazines um, and in books of critical appraisal about art. So they're exposed. Uh, they have absolutely no illusion about what they're seeing because they're brand conscious and many of them are in fact brand obsessed. So we're amazed um, at them and they're amazed at us. Um, and it's kind of turned into a love story in this, in this mall at any rate, where, um, where we're showing them uh, international names um, and they're showing us um, international love. <laughs> Okay, so we're very proud of our relationship with international artists. And for example, we have one of Portugal's prominent contemporary artists, whose name is Jana Abreu. And here we have her self-portrait. Uh, and we have a woman who um, enjoys painting the drama on the inside of her head, on the outside of her face. So we also have relationships with artists from across generations in Johannesburg. This, for example, um, is an artist called Zeik Samsani. Um, he's self-taught, uh, he lives around the corner, um, he frequents the gallery, and of course his, um, his focus um, is on the everyday lives of ordinary citizens with a kind of like pop surrealistic edge. Um, he's one of the most popular of our artists um, and, uh, and his ideas can't go fast enough um, and his work can't sell fast enough either. Okay, so here we have uh, the work of the resident artist of the gallery, whose name is simply Fringe. Uh, Fringe is a multi-dimensional, uh, uh, multimedia artist who works um, with many um, uh, kind of concurrent ideas and forms. And one of the things he does is sculptures. In this instance, he has something called Gutinka Minor, uh, which is the, the, um, the vision of a futuristic doll that's been abandoned by a family um, who's moved on um, some time um, uh, uh, to come. Um, and also, um, he has two family portraits, um, one of Mickey, one of Snoopy, um, that are also branded so branding is, is one of his favorite things. Um, it's a niche, but it's a big niche. Uh, so you have to ask yourself what that really means in terms of the art world. Um, and uh, there is a kind of a, um, an obsession out there um, about, about gathering the names um, and about gathering the works. So we have people who are getting online all the time. We have people who are uh, following up on YouTube and on, and on all of the platforms um, about this caliber of international pop artist. Uh, and they are um, usually um, looking with a kind of um, envy across, across continents saying, well, why can't we have this and why can't we do it? And we, I think, are showing them that you can have it and it can be done.